Hello, everybody, and welcome out to this evening's uh, online business training uh, video. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about uh, online and social media network marketing. So how to use social media and other online tools to build your network marketing business. So I'm going to actually um, run everybody through this, and um, Jade and I are going to share as we go. Yeah. Um, there, um, we're looking at um, this page on the on Jade's website. Um, you can get to there. I'll just back up so everybody knows um, where to find this information. So if you go just to the business training on Jade's website, so under Meet Jade and Business Tools or Build Build with Jade, <clears throat> um, there are a bunch of resources. Here is all of the if you're building a business in DoTerra and want some assistance. All the information is here on this page. On the other, the posts and everything, those are um, not related to building business, but rather um, learning more about essential oils and, and those sorts of things. Right. So we've divided this into a, a few categories. There's a basic business. So if you're new to this, you don't get drowned in it, and you can get in here and just find some simple information to get you going. And then um, there's also advanced business training. So all the other information that we have, it's all here in one place um, and we add to it and we'll be going through here and um, organizing and redoing videos and information and um, we'll be putting together some more um, of these classes based on that organization. So redoing some of the old videos and everything. So um, tonight we're talking about online and social media network marketing. So all these videos down here will be um, starting next week. We'll start to go through and redo these as um, one topic at a time until we have all the topics kind of updated for our business training. So without further ado, let's get back to the online social media and network marketing um, topic. <clears throat> so what is building your online business, your network marketing business online? Well, if you look at network marketing, it's all about meeting people. And they had network marketing far before they had um, internet. Um, it's been around for years and years and years. It's all about meeting people and um, introducing people to products or sharing with those people the products. You have a network social network, a network of friends, network of people you know. Um, you meet with these people and you share with them products, right? So it's just one person meeting another person and having a discussion saying, look, I, I've got this product. I think it'll help you with A or B, right? So, so the humans are like this anyways, and we are doing this intentionally, that's all. Because in the past, people have done business and it's just word of mouth and, mm. you know, it's referrals. But now you intentionally build this In any network. business, you need to build a network. In network marketing, it's part of your job. And building a network is just a, a, a topic for last week. fantastic because you don't have to spend time <coughs> producing products yeah. and other things. It's that was the topic week. last week. It was uh, being a professional's friend maker. Um, now... Um, we're talking about build, doing that with online tools as well because a lot of uh, people nowadays just connect with other people online, social media and whatnot. So it's about you getting out, out there, getting your face out there, building a brand. Um, it's not just about um, you know putting pictures of doTERRA bottles on your Facebook profile, um, but doing it intentionally to go out there and change people's lives to help people to um, help them um, learn and grow and build their doTERRA business. <clears throat> so here's a list of things that you can do online with social media, with uh, internet, with um, you know your online tools. You can generate new leads. These are sell leads. Basically make new friends, right? Um, strengthen those existing friendships. You can reach out to people and get to know, um, you know, reignite old friendships and stuff and you know see where that goes um, you can share and teach um, interested people so you find some people who are interested you say oh I understand you have a headache um, I've got something that I've been using for my headaches whatever that you know natural um, segue into that topic goes 
and um, and you can also promote sales. So you have uh, people that have already joined your doTERRA team. You can use social media uh, to promote, like for instance, this month uh, we have the um, Immortel, um, which has been phenomenal. Lots of people jumping on board uh, for that. It's a great product. It's a great time to get it because you can get it for free. <laughs> So um, that's one way um, that you can use social media is um, by promoting those pro those sales those, and new products come out. You want to share with people products, something new you've learned about products, you can do that. But it's not just about products. And I'll get into that later on. If all you're posting is, look at this bottle of essential oil, look at this bottle of essential oil, you'll quickly um, wear your friends out. Okay. The next um, is to communicate new information. So you have information about some opportunity or um, you know a new way to sign people up or things change, you, you're able to communicate this to people. Like uh, doTERRA ran out of laundry detergent for a while and so. Yeah, so good, we're out of Cyprus now. So. Yeah, so you can let people know, um, you know, you form a little group on Facebook or whatever and, and or maybe you have an email list of people that are in your in your group um, you can lead groups of team members so you form a group um, you know a group for people who are using essential oils they just want to learn more they don't necessarily care about doing business and 80% of the people that you sign up will never sign out anybody else up they're just in there to buy essential oils because essential oils are great you can create a group for them help keep them informed and slowly educate them because doing essential oils is different than you know so as a team leader, if you are a team leader and you have team members, be clear on your objective because you can have a wonderful Facebook group or Facebook um, you know, chat group or whatever it is. You have to know where you're taking these people. You know, it's not like here is all throw information because I've seen a few groups that are just here, happy, feel good. But you know, there's people who need stuff. They need direction, they need um, a goal. So if your goal is to you know, help your friends be uh, independent builders, um, and then they turn around and help their people, then you, know, you should make that clear. And say, hey guys, do you know about this already? Do you know mm -hmm. about this already? Because happy, feel good, good stuff is, is good. But at the end of the day, they're gonna be very frustrated because they're not gonna get some real good um, substance out of it. Yeah, yeah. So make sure that what you provide is uh, of value, and that you you're clear. Like if you're forming a group, um, you let you them know, know what objective. that's about. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you can find and support builders. So network marketing is also about you know Leadership. partnering with other people who are also building DoTerra as a business. And so this is a wonderful way to support them, to find them, to talk to people, open the discussion about the business opportunity um, and support people through. And we're not just talking about social media, right? We're also talking about emailing. We're also talking about um, other ways of connecting to people online. If maybe you put together a blog or maybe you, um, you know, have a text group mm -hmm. or, or something like something like that, or like this a Zoom call, mm -hmm. where you know every once in a while we're meeting with uh, other people on online. Yep. So this is one of the ways that we are using mm -hmm. social media and online resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a right way and a wrong way to um, build your DoTerra business with social media. Sadly, there's a lot of people out there um, that just go about it they're like oh yeah i understand facebook they go out there and they they don't really have a purpose um they don't really have a big picture of what they're trying to accomplish they're thinking that if they just post a lot of feel good information about the products um people will say oh they're posting this information about the product i'd like to buy that product please i don't know if i've seen that ever um lead to a sell no or people say oh there's a Crazy bottle of something called Deep Blue. Never heard about it. They say they're rubbing it on their sore muscles. Good for them. It's it's got to be um, got to be a, a, a lot more um, value added. And and we're also going to talk about um, targeting your audience. So we as have well. had some success with people going through our website. Uh, we had a lady come 
to our local classes. She said, I know all about you. And um, then she sat through a class and then she was ready to join. Um, and she actually hosted a class at her house later on. So that was awesome. Mm. So we have people going to our event right and coming to our classes. Yep. And, then and that's another say, um, av yeah. avenue. Uh, yep. Event Bright is just the way a place to list, list events. And there's, there's a lot of different um, well, platforms we, out there. What we're trying to help people understand is you need a clear idea of what you want to achieve from what you're doing. If it's a social media, if it's event Bright, you want people to come here. And then the next thing is this. And the next thing is that, you know, a class, enrollment, and then lead them. So you have to have a good big picture of where you're taking people. It's not just hope you know, throw out there to everybody, then you're talk, talking to nobody, okay? So we've, do, we've uh, <clears throat> whittled this down to 10 points. And this is also taken from some information I got from a presidential diamond mm -hmm. um, and how she built the majority of her business online using these 10 points. Um, so we're gonna go through and talk about each of these points. Bear in mind, we're not wizards, we're not masters. Uh, we do know a little bit of stuff and we'd like to you know, pass that information on to you. Um, there are other people you can go to for um, more assistance if you want to learn more about social media online marketing. Um, the topic tonight is the role of social media marketing. Uh, and you know, we're broad broadening that to you know, be more online tools as well okay so the first of these well i'll just read through these know your audience post with purpose grow your network of friends build relationships create sales funnels inspire engage stand out repurpose your content and review your efforts again i'll say it again these are um, all steps taken from a presidential diamond who used this to grow their business and um so, you know, it had that, I hope that adds a little bit of, um, I don't know what you, what you call it. it. Value to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, credibility. Credibility. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. So the first here is know your audience. But I need to tell everybody that, you know, all of this information is great. Um, just, you know, sometimes we feel like, oh, it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's all, I get it. I know. I've heard it before. But all, do you know good if you don't apply it? Okay. So just take one thing at a time, apply that one thing and learn it and then add to that repertoire. The first thing that people want to do with doTERRA is share it with everyone. And I agree doTERRA is for everyone and their pets, um, but marketing for it to be effective has to be able to touch someone, has to be able to connect with someone. So if you're out there, um, you maybe start a Facebook page or whatever, <clears throat> and um, you're, you're creating a message for everyone, um, sadly, you may not reach anyone. You need to be able to connect with someone, and that means you need to find out who exactly your target is, who, what kind of person you're trying to reach. And when you share doTERRA, like you're going door to door telling people about essential oils, um, you just deal with who, you, who comes up. People are interested, you share with them. But when you're preparing messages, you need to have in mind who you are talking to. And usually, most effectively, it will be someone you understand and someone you can connect with. You understand their pains, their needs, their problems, their goals, and you're able to not only understand those, but help them in some way with what products you have, okay? there's there's a purpose to you it's some people are uncomfortable with making friends with the purpose to um, sell things to them um, separate it in your mind then say I'm gonna have some friend making activities I'm gonna go to lunch with my friend Sally to catch up with you know with her um, and then you also have I've got to serve my friends you know you can think if selling is a hard word for you because that is what you do, then you can separate that and redefine it. You can say, look, I'm serving people. I'm introducing them to something. Um, you know, think about yourself, how essential oils have changed your life. How would you felt if, how would you feel if, you know, 
whoever shared the essential oils with you withheld that. They didn't share with you because they were scared that they were going to sell something to you. People want to be sold to. There's so many times I'm, I, I have a need. I, I need something. I need someone to explain to me the benefits of this. Please sell me something. I remember I th- just, just, yeah. just the other week, you know, I went into a, a, a supplement shop and I, I, I don't know enough about this stuff. I need someone it's to like sell it to me. 300 supplements on this trip. <laughs> I'm, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm savvy enough that I can, you know, if he's going to try to manipulate me, I'll, I'll be able to understand. But you know what? I just don't have the time to go and figure everything out. So that's where you come in. You provide a service, okay? So to choose a target audience. Choose who you are going to serve, who your um, it's called t- target audience, um, it's your avatar. It's a niche. So you say, I'm going to help people with sleep or I'm going to help this specific audience with this specific problem. So you can start specific like that and then branch out um, once you are successful in that area. Um, so understand what their problems, needs, and pains, and goals are. Um, understand everything you can about them, where they spend their free time, what they like to do on the internet, what social media platforms they frequent, um, how old they are, um, what kind of jobs they have. Um, the more specific you can define the audience, the better you will, a- you will be able to create messages that touch them. You want to connect with people. You want to create an emotional feeling inside them um, people make purchasing um, purchasing decisions based on emotions um, and they make they believe or they trust people that they can trust connect to <laughs> they can they yeah do. if they can connect to you they understand you they'll trust you and you can give them advice and they'll say look I know you got you, you got my my best interest at heart because you understand me So I think uh, one thing that really helps is um, your target audience is probably someone like you. And um, so if you know yourself well, this will be be much easier. And it could be a mom that stay home, that wants to stay home more and um, not have to go to work. Mom that has uh, children, mom that has, um, you know, younger children or older children up to you or you have pets, you know, we have conversations about that with several of our teammates. Um, and something that's very, as soon as you can narrow it down, the better. So you're not going to talk to, you know, 80 year old men. You're not going to talk to, you know, all these, you know, other people that are not really your kind of people. So feel comfortable um, with uh, the person that you, you're trying to, to target. So once yeah. you see that and, person in your head, then you know exactly how to help. And them. it's a lot more enjoyable to make friends yeah. and find people because you're connecting with yeah. them rather than, you know, selling, you it, to selling it to the person at the grocery store um, who you have nothing in common with. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it means a lot more. Okay, so the next um, item here is post with purpose. Some people approach network marketing like a task list. They say, oh, I have to have three posts a day or whatever their magic number is. Um, There is no magic number, by the way. Um, Don't just post for the sake of posting. Oh, I've got to post something today. Let me take a picture of my daughter. Yeah, line her up and take a picture. I just love my daughter. Um, Take wild orange. (laughs) Um, You you know what? You got to post to make people feel something. You got to post to add value. And so you say, well, I don't know how to do that every day. Um, that's why you have a plan. Provide, uh, you know, put together a plan. I'll, I'll talk about this in a minute. A plan, like a six-month plan. What are the topics I want to cover? And, you know, prepare them beforehand. You can make all your posts on Monday and schedule them to come out during the week. Um, don't just use your Facebook profile. Open a Facebook page and you'll be able to schedule posts. Um, and I would re- advise you to name your Facebook page, your personal brand, which is just your name. You can have a tagline. You say, Jade Balden, love life healing. Um, you know, like she does at the top of her. Yeah, so you just pick out your, it's your name, your, that's your brand, and you're posting with purpose, um, something special. 
something of value because you know if people are scrolling through and they see something that's just like everybody else's it doesn't really help them in some way they're just going to scroll right past it and it's not really going to add value it's a waste of your time it's a waste of their time and facebook will figure it out and they won't show it to anybody so um create some great content put your feeling in it put your personality in it um, be authentic and, and you post get that better with and better at it. So you're not to, you know, have yeah. some. Feel mistakes free to make mistakes. Um, this is social. Yeah. Everybody understands that we make mistakes. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. yeah. And we're still learning and growing that way. And speaking of mm -hmm. growing, is our next topic: growing your network of friends. So, um, sharing your terror is about building friends, like we were saying. And there's no cap to how many friends you can have, and there's no definition of friends except you know someone that you connect with um so you don't really have to know everything about them but you know like oh i know this one guy i used to know in ohio and now he lives in a different part of florida and he has these um these health concerns okay that's all you need to know you know it the relationship can grow and grow the more you interact but this is the wonderful thing wonderful thing about social media you don't need to interact um, with everybody to be friends with them. People can actually become friends with you without you ever actually Talk to talking them. to them directly. Mm -hmm. They'll see your stuff. They'll read your things. It's like, you know, you build a relationship with J.K. Rowling by reading her books. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't really know you from a bar. So, um yeah, so I had, you know, team members that um, say that some of their leaders are reading and um, connecting to my stuff and they feel like they know me and mm -hmm. I, I'm grateful that in a roundabout sort of way, I'm able to help her friends and, um, you know, those people build their life. So I always have to have this purpose in my mind. What am I doing? Where am I going? Who am I helping? So I just keep on having that and then, you know, it makes it so much easier to grow this network. So con con connect with people as much as you can. Um, some friendships will be just, um, oh, I, I wouldn't say one-sided, but, um, you know, there's a automaticness of the, of the internet there. And so it, it will help you. People are going to comment on your posts. Like all their comments. Go read them. Go reply to them. Share your love and, and express your love for them and your sincere desire to help them. Um, and so they know you're, you've got a page there and they know it's about some natural healing thing. Um, so you want to keep your topic like that um, and create a plan, create a strategy. Um, you know, what you're going to post when over the next several months and, you know. So, and some people, they're afraid to post because they might look dumb. So um, if we can just focus on our purpose and get out of our own way, we will be able to help more people. Then you wouldn't be afraid to work, look dumb and, and that really wouldn't even be an issue because yeah. your issue is not like, oh, what do people think of me? Your yeah. issue is like, oh, how can I help people? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so be a part of the conversation. Join other groups. Um, talk, you know, share your stuff there. Um, then as you do this consistently over time, you actually become an influencer and people look to you as like some source of information. Some people say, use the word guru, but you know, you just a reliable source of valuable information. Yeah. Okay. And of course, um, we talked about building relationships, <clears throat> sharing with people who you are. You can share with people, you know, I, I smashed up my car today, um, feeling bad. Um, I'm using cheer and motivate to uh, crawl out of bed this morning, you know, <laughs> or, you know, if, if you're just posting, yeah. it's not really building that. you got to post, be authentic, um, connect with people. Um, you're not just broadcasting, oh, it's Wacky Wednesday. Um, here is Aroma Touch Essential Oil. I use it for this, 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 and this, this. If you could be more authentic and say, oh, you know what? I had a really bad week. Um, I got my husband to give me a massage with my favorite oil, which is Aroma Touch. And here are some qualities. Um, you know, just some way that you can touch the audience uh, more. Um, and videos are a lot better than just text. And mm -hmm. pictures are better than text. So videos, pictures, text. And yep. It, it might be scary that. to mm -hmm. do videos and stuff like that. But yeah. get, again, just get out of your way and 
yeah. you're focusing on providing but, value. You know, to it's just set a goal to, to just push yourself uh, to new levels every day. Yeah. It'll, it'll work out. Yeah. And the thing I said about comments and, and connecting with people and responding to their so and liking I just their want to share that I, I am um, just deep down inside a teacher. Ever since I was little, I was a tutor when I was 13, and I just kept on tutoring in that um, education center for a long time until I went to college. Anyways, I wanted to suppress that about me because I like information and I like organizing information, and I wanted to suppress that. And, um, you know, I just decided I'm just going to do it. And lately, I have attracted so many teachers. And I feel like that's who I want to work with anyways. Um, they're teachers for their mamas, but they want to have more than that. And so I, I am so grateful that I just kept on trying and trying. And then I figured out what my thing was. And, of course, you know, uh, once in a while I think of things that I could say and do um, just to put myself in there my personality honestly because we've had the oils we haven't had a lot of stuff happen um, and I don't want to make up stuff so but I know friends that are going through healing crisis and things you can put it down you can write it down you can share that thank you all right and um, remember one of the key important reasons Ito doTERRA some people might say, well, I'm not doing it for the money, but you want it to be able to support your business. And most people are in the position where they could use. It doesn't have uh, to be a mutually yeah. exclusive. Of course, exactly. you want to money. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. You want to reach a, res a result. If you are making in your money in your business, it means you are helping people because people are signing up for you. They're buying the oils and those oils are having an effect in their life. So that's a good indicator of how many people you've um, been able to help. So you need to make sure that your online and social media um, marketing um, is putting people into what we call a sales funnel. Now a sales funnel <clears throat> is just a marketing term. It means that you, know, you, you have all the worldwide out there, worldwide internet um, people out there, and you, uh, get the attention of some of those people. Maybe you um, have a friendly post. Maybe you put together a, a, a handout, a page, a video, a little booklet or something like that. And, you know, you get these people's contact details. Maybe they have to, you know, give you an email to sign up for a webinar that you're hosting or something like that. So you get their contact details and they, they, they've now joined your group and your group that you can market to. You can send them out friendly emails, uh, keep them up to date on your own blogs you might put together, um, and you know, off, make new offers to them. I, I'm having this free consultation, or or I'm you know giving this free promotion on this certain oil or um, a new product that you're offering, whatever. So you you have this big group of people that are somewhat interested, and then. You want to move them to this other, you know, into this next step of the funnel, which is they take advantage of maybe a free webinar or something like that. And from that, you follow up with them. And eventually, what you want to do is get people to buy essential oils, to set up a wholesale account, to get on LRP, um, to understand the oils, to understand, um, to be educated in how to use the, the oils, okay? So basically you're funneling them. You're funneling them down. And how you get them into this funnel is you provide a lot of value, free value. Mm -hmm. So here is a blend of the week. Um, yeah. And I put this to blend together in this way, and this is what it means for me. And, and, um, so if you want to see a good example, most of you know Dr. Axie or Chris Carr. I mean, they have all this free stuff and then funnel, 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 funnel down to products that they're actually selling. Yep, you see it a lot on, on, yeah. online. And you know how to attract yourself by looking at things that attracts you, okay? Um, and then you can use the same strategy for people. Yep, exactly, can. exactly. Um, but don't just go pushing product, 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 product. Um, make sure you're adding value. So I think a good ratio, and I've spoken to a lot of people who do this, nine is to nine to one. So you got nine um, posts that add value um, 
information. I build your brand. They give free information. They give some direction, some entertainment or something like that. And one product offer post. So um, does anybody want to join me for an online meeting? Um, if you come to the online meeting, uh, you get the sample. I'll send it to you in the mail or whatever. Yeah. Or you go into a, a drawing to receive such and such. Because there's lots of ways that you can, you know, engage people and gather some details from them. And then you have those people you can market to. And they've opted in. They, they've agreed to let, get some further information from you. Mm -hmm. It's like going to a, a fair or a... Um, you know, some sort of an expo or something. As people come by your booth, you know, you may, might give free hand massages and ask people to write their names down. Then you gather, you collect names and and maybe you have a box there. Would you like me to send you some information on essential oils? Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, a lot of people, they go through and they'll, yes, please, sell to me, is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, and, and at the end of the day, they are looking for something. They are wanting something, and it's your responsibility to help them find out what that is. So, yeah. Okay. The next uh, thing is inspire. The more you know about the people you're marketing to, the more you are able to inspire them. So you work. Um, you want to, people to take action. So at the end of you know a video you make or something like that, or you. you you seek to touch them or connect with them in some way and give them a call to action, whether that's join my email list or it might be um, sign up for uh, my free ebook or something, or it might be um, register for my webinar or join my online uh, introduction to essential oil class or book a free consultation with me or we can call and I'll, I'll Tell you all about how maybe you can solve the problems we've been talking about with essential oils. Um, so whatever. Um, so you, you are going to learn a lot about your avatar, your target market audience. You're going to try to help them solve their problems, ease their pains, feel, fulfill their needs, right? And help them reach their goals. And, you know, you can make inspirational quotes. You get inspired um, every once in a while. You can pass that inspiration on and help other people. A lot of people are just looking for inspiration. They're looking um, to the social media sites for connection to um, find out what everybody else is doing. There's three ways that we figure things out in this world. We look in at everybody else and what they're doing. We um, look at our past experiences right, and look what worked for us in the past. And we also, the words we hear other people say, um, that's how we find out. And people are wanting to connect in that way. So um, be a source of inspiration to people. Um, and you know, if you are inspirational, they're gonna buy what you're selling because they want that. They want that inspiration in their lives and they trust you, you've built, built that relationship with you, mm -hmm. trust. When they are inspired, they are more likely to be engaged, like laughing at their iPad in the middle of a park. <laughs> um, Can I say something? Here? Yeah. Um, you know, as a leader, I don't allow myself to be discouraged. Um, when I do feel that way, I, I stop and then I change it right away. And actually, you know, it's a choice and, you know, you get better and better because you want to continue to have inspiration. And um, so, you know, tell yourself that, no, I can't, I can't get discouraged. Let's, let's move forward. Um, so as soon as you get that feeling, change it. So how is online social media marketing different from other types of marketing, like billboards or flyers you send out in the mail or television commercials? Social media marketing is different because it is social. It is interaction. It is about engagement. We measure engagement. There's a place on your Facebook um, where you can measure engagement. You know, a YouTube channel, you can go in there and see how many people are engaged, how many people are watching, how many people are um, commenting, how many people are liking, how many people are subscribing, how many people are following. Um, 
and sharing your content with other people as much as that as you can get as possible. You want to engage people. Um, and think of it as a two-way communication. You create something that speaks to people and they um, then speak back to you and it's a conversation, right? It's about networking, it's about being social, it's about connecting, it's about adding value so those people keep on coming back because you know we're all looking for a bit of value. We don't wanna see the same ordinary things, okay? Um, it's not a place to market your products about broadcasting you know one way here 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 and if you're interested give me a call and you sit back and wait for people to call you it won't happen um there are just too much of it um our social animal is not wired for it anymore um the only way to get people to call you is if they really trust you if you've reached out to them if they're your friend and still sometimes people won't call you so that's why you have to build your funnel and um, call them. <laughs> okay, so um, once you've built that relationship with people, um, it's, it's, um, it's about sharing. Um, think about people that you've connected with online. Um, maybe you've liked something from a certain doctor online who's sharing things, or maybe you you're following a certain celebrity and you're, you're into, or maybe you have a favorite author from a newspaper um, editorial or something that every week maybe you log in and say, okay, well, it's Thursday and I know so-and-so makes his videos on Thursdays. So I'll, I'll, I'll log in and I'll see if he's made any funny videos this week. So um, yeah, you want to be that person, that person that's adding value um, to the people that are you want to follow you. So it's a cr content creator, content consumer relationship. Okay, and you got to see it for what it is. You're offering value; they're coming to you for value. You're interacting with each other. You're serving them. You build that relationship, and you recommend a product, and they will most likely and not buy that product if the relationship is strong enough. Um, and if you've sold that product, meaning you've explained the benefits, how that benefits them, okay? So, and it also can be a very enjoyable thing to serve people in this way. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's about connecting with people, inspiring people, and so fulfilled. providing real value. So what you're gonna avoid is pushing, is manipulating, is tricking people. If, if that's what it feels like, you're doing it wrong. Um, it's about love. It's about service. It's about benefits, solutions, helping people be informed and letting them free. And say like, uh, this product does all these things, and this is how I used it. And this is my experience, and this is an experience from someone else, and this is how you buy it. <sighs> there, you've just served them, and if they, um, if you've connected with them and you've met their needs, and you've understood their pains problems goals and desires like chances are they're going to say you've got the solution i don't care where the money comes from i'm gonna i'm gonna buy that you just have most of the time of confidence that they're gonna yeah. appreciate and then come to you too yeah and a lot of people um money is not uh an objection um if people if it's what they need and they see it they'll find a solution to the money thing um it'll all they'll always make when it. you're desperate you, to, you will push you will yep. you know and you know that's what happens oh yeah yeah so if mm -hmm. if you have a feeling of oh i'm desperate i really need three enrollments this month so yeah. i can um get something yeah then you're like oh guys you have to really try this this is really amazing um, I'll, I'll know whether you try it or not, you know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, it's like when you're confident that you know this is going to help them and they will come to you. So that's good. Yeah, okay. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Yeah. Plowing through this. Questions or comments from those of you that have joined us tonight? Okay. All right. Sounds like we're explaining it 100% good. <laughs> All right, you also want to make sure that you stand out. There are so many people that are now selling essential oils online. 
not enough that the field is uh, overcrowded. Um, there is, there, we are constantly meeting. I would say 99% of the people we meet are serviceable. Um, there's only that one in every hundred or thousand people that we meet that have already opened an account with doTERRA. Even there are some people that have a doTERRA account and have no idea how to use their oils. And we're actually considering marketing to those people because they're not interested in, they're part of the 80% that are not interested in doing it as a business, but they'll give you referrals. Yes. So that's, that's a good source of referrals. They had a testimony of doTERRA one time. They don't know how to use oils. You invite them to your wellness classes. You share with them all these things and they have three people that they know that want to um, use essential oils. And we, we found a builder this way. Yeah. You know, those people connect with us and, and you know, yeah. it, we're just doing it for the love of it and we're trying to monetize it as much as we can. You can't make money from everything. The highest um, value needs to be serving people. Um, the rest will just fall in place. Mm -hmm. okay. There's plenty of people that are in doTERRA and you think, oh no, there's a lot of people doing business. But like Ben said, some of them are just in to buy and so they could be on somebody else's team but they can say, hey, no, here, yeah. here's the person. I don't care about buying. I'm just, on, I'm just buying from this person, but you can buy. My friend can buy from you. So I meet a lot of builders everywhere. I, I mean, even builders, and they, they think they're builders, but they're not very effective. Um, mm. And so, yeah. And there may be a lot of people that are sharing doTERRA essential oils on, on through social media, but here's the thing: there's only one of you, yeah. and you will connect particularly in a special way with your avatar in a way that no one else can. Mm -hmm. So rest assured that that sets you apart with that special group. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is most of the people who are um, sharing essential oils through social media are not doing it right. They are making all these problem uh, mistakes that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So you can stand out, just be yourself be authentic everyone else is taken just be yourself and be creative how you express yourself and how you share yourself yeah the best thing yeah, is you have to figure love, out who you are and, love, and yourself. love yourself yeah and then you can attract more people so a lot of people talk about brand here's where the brand comes in you are the brand so think about what do you want people to think about when they think of your name um, so this is called a personal brand. It's different from a corporate brand. A corporate brand is like Nike or Apple. A personal brand is like Nelson, M Mandela, Madonna, Dr. Mercola, Donald Trump, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is a personal brand. Apple is a corporate brand. When you think of that person, what do you think of? Okay, what do you, so now this is your chance to build your brand. What do you want people to think of when they think of, when they hear your name, you know, think of what you think of when you hear Jade's name. That's intentional. We have marketed Jade online, um, and we said, "Look, we we've gone through these exercises. We say, okay, when people hear the Jade Baldwin brand, we want them to think of these things." And she's in, we've included it as you know, we've got a tagline here: Jade Baldwin, love, light, healing, um, and is constantly being refined, but that's that's the brand. And you need to build your own brand. What's your brand? Who are you connecting with? What is your special value to you the world? To pick. And a lot of these brands are, how does that person serve humanity? Yeah, and you gotta so, pick. Sometimes you're good at a lot of things. That's right. We find some people, they have so many talents and skills and everything that they try to be everything and they essentially end up being just a little bit of everything, but not substantially anything at all. So try to narrow in and find your niche as narrow as you can get it. That will focus your being and shine your light brightest. Mm -hmm. okay. And write it down. Do this as a, a pencil yep. and paper, so paper exercise. We've, we've done that lots of times. <laughs> yeah. And we've shared it with each other. Yeah. Repurpose. I mean, just edited. Okay. So you got your brand. You're making content. You're adding value to the, to the internet. Um, so where do you post? Um, there's all these social media network platforms um, that are multiplying every day. There's the big ones, you know, Facebook, um, YouTube. Um, Instagram, LinkedIn, all those 
big names. Um, so where, how do you know where to start? Well, the, f the fact is you just need to get to where your people are. You're searching for people. Where are they? What social media platforms are they on? So if you know that, um, you know, you have a lot of people that you know that you want to target are on Facebook and Facebook's probably the biggest one here. Um, and you can look at all the stats behind it, but that's not really going to help us. The question is, is where are your people? And you can actually go and access the stats on, you know, if you're looking for someone in this age category, um, like, um, what's the uh, Snapchat? that attracts a, a younger group of people. Yep. If you have people that you're attracting in that age group, that's where you want to be. Yep. Um, and if you're attracting people that are like you, that you connect with, um, easy. Just use the social media platforms that you're currently on. Mm -hmm. And um, it starts with one. And yeah, then exactly. So here's a tip. So just start with one or two social media plat um, platforms um, or online um, tools and expand from there and it doesn't make any uh, much more work to um, share your content on another platform for instance if you put together a post on um, blends or, or methods or, or ideas for how to get your children so, to sleep so for pets you, for example let me set, finish my um, you can share that on facebook um, you can write a blog about that um, you can do an instagram about that so it's just copy and paste for that yeah so that's what i'm saying you know if you have like a post on pets you can you know uh do a, a pinterest on that or facebook i mean uh, um, instagram on that too yep so you, whatever you do on one you can just do it on another if people are following you on both things they'll say they'll think oh good this person's consistent <laughs> They have, they have a consistent message, their fonts are consistent, their colors are consistent, um, they're reliable is what it's saying. Most people use a majority of one social media platform and so you don't really have to worry about people seeing multiples of your stuff. Not that it's a problem because if they see it again, they'll just... Yes, I've they, had one person yep, I've come got that. to my class from um, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. People can find you in lots of different places. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So don't let it be overwhelming. Like I say, just step into it slowly um, and let it grow on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last thing that we're talking about here is reviewing your effort. So make sure what you're doing is effective. Make sure it's working. You might be posting three posts every day and, and then, um, you know, at the end of the month, you look back and you say, no one's no one's liked it. it you know you can look at the stats you can see how many people commented and, and everything like that it's not working maybe you're in front of the wrong audience so you maybe need to campaign to build the right audience um, or you maybe need to um, somehow get in front of the right people um, there's lots of different ways you can go about doing that um, basically you know you've got to look at the numbers um, otherwise, you could be wasting a lot of time mm -hmm. and you want to be able to use the numbers enough to say, okay, so maybe I spent a little bit of money um, on, you know, Facebook allows you to um, boost your post. So it puts it in front of more people than just the people who liked your page. And, um, you know, you can boost that. You spent a little bit of money, but you got three people to sign up. But your question is, did those three people come from that? So you want to be able to be able to measure that um, and see if you're driving traffic from this sort of post to your website or people that are signing up to your newsletter. There's ways to track that and, to, and then you can see what's effective. Because um, when you start building your website, you might want to do some more promotion. And by promotion, we mean ad advertisement like Google AdWords or Facebook um, Boost or whatever. It will, it will make sense if you pay $5 to promote something and in return you get three people sign up and you make $200. It makes a lot of sense. And besides, those people are not only joining and you get the fast start, but you also are, you know, they're becoming part of your team and adding to um, your commission in general on a monthly basis.
So plan, so put your plan together, carry out the plan and review the plan. Um, read your stats, uh, find out what, what worked and what you need to adjust. So those are our 10 points for doing social media network and online marketing. Um, there are a lot of tools. Uh, I've listed some down here. Um, you know, if you have questions about compliance, we have some information here. Compliance just means what kind of claims you're able to say about um, the therapeutic benefits of essential oils and whether you're able to use doTERRA's trademarks and um, names and pictures on you know, your websites, pretty much social media is free reign. Um, a, lot of, a lot of other online resources, tools. If you're to the point where you wanna put a website together, there's uh, thorough instructions here. Um, we can also help you work through that. Maybe you want to um, use your replicated, your doTERRA replicated website in, in your online marketing. There's a way to do that as well. So people that just want to buy a lemon oil, you can say, okay, go here, All right? So um, lots of platforms. Um, there's places you can get free images to use in your posts and stuff. If you want to put a logo together, I've got some information there if you have a website and you want to get it certified so that you're able to talk about the tariff products openly um, that's how you do that there you can set up automatic emails um, create um, landing pages where you know you can drive your traffic to and it gathers uh, email addresses and uh, gives them maybe an ebook or whatever um, wonderful way of doing that there's also some other people who can train you um, there's a person who we've done some training with for online social media marketing. Um, you can contact him, um, get some training there, some instructions of how to set up a website here. So we've got a lot of information here. Let's scroll back up to the top. So I hope that um, helps everybody see kind of the idea of the role that social media takes, social media and online resources take in building your online business. Like I say, we're just getting into this. Um, we have had some real successes um, and we hope to continue to build this more and more. We're interested in you know anything you have to say, so send us your comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel, our podcast. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll just pause there. Um, if it, if the, those who have joined us tonight, if they have any questions or comments, All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and stop our recording here. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you.